see the rape and I was a little gassy. See? Like, I no. want to cry because what you're saying is that, is that deep. They regret it. And the hard part about While it most of these women out here losing their damn mind. Something in you should be tugging at you now. Whether they can't the handle this shit. The one, are you the person who had it done? Are you the person who That's why it's better off thinking of plan B. And like she said, it's not an effort to get you to hate. And you got to go there to maybe hear the heart. Maybe it's an effort to get you to see what's in the mirror. And maybe, maybe. But, oh, well, my body, my choice. Generation of girls, that they don't want to feel like how you feel right now. That's it. You don't have to hate yourself. We've all fucked up. I don't ever want somebody to hate themselves that they fucked up. Even if you did some dirty shit to me, I don't hate you. What I want you to do is to don't feel like today, uh, you don't want to be that person. Don't hate yourself. Hate that person. How many of y'all have done that with shit you've done in your life? I don't hate myself because I'm not that motherfucker. But I was that motherfucker at one point, and I hate that motherfucker. I hate that I was ever that person. There's plenty of things I grew out of, and I hated that I was that person. And I hated that person so much that I didn't want anybody else to ever be that person. So if I can be the person to stop you from being that person, I think that's my job now. I can't stop me from being that person because I am that person. But I can stop other people from being that person. Like Moses. He couldn't stop himself from being that person. He ain't going to get to see the promised land. But he can make sure nobody else does it either. You know what the great thing is? Go ahead, I'm sorry. You know what the great thing about being alive is? What? Even if you hate yourself for something that you've done, you still have the chance to redeem yourself. Claim. Claim, claim. Yes. Claim. You're, you're, it's why I say, that's why I've been real careful with who and how I say that to women. That's all you can do. I mean, listen, that's all you can do. You can correct your mistake by being a different person. Yep. And you can try to help other people to not have to have the same regrets you have. Boy. And to me, that's when I know people are evil. You know how I know you're evil? Because you believe they fucked you over so you won't fuck them over. Yep. You believe Revenge. that men or women have treated you wrong so you're going to go treat them wrong. You yep. believe that you you had a fucked up life so you want to see somebody else have a fucked up life. Miser- misery loves company. That's evil. Good people... Good people want, they don't say, I am enslaved, I want somebody else to be enslaved. But have you noticed some of the worst people doing, even if we're talking about slavery? They would help the slave master catch other people. Yep. They were slaves, so they would help the slave master catch other people to be slaves. That's evil. Because you don't want to be a slave by yourself. I got an STD, Damn. so I want to give it to everybody else so they can have an STD. That's literally evil. And and what they'll oh, think, they'll you say, know what, uh, huh, well, the person who gave me Butter STD gonna do. didn't tell me. I told but y'all. Yes, but wouldn't you have wanted to know gave it to me. that they had an STD so you could have chosen for yourself? So by that logic, you should allow other people to have the chance, but you didn't. Evil person says, nope, everybody going to get what it is I got. How many times have y'all heard somebody say, what did that girl, that, that um some celebrity said, or that girl on that video that I put up, she said, niggas have cheated on me. Well, I'm cheating on niggas. Even though them was so jailbird she was fucking the married woman's husband. Her thought was, they did it to me. People hurt people. Me, I've never wanted somebody to experience the pain that I have. Like when there was a girl I was dating, she did me dirty as fuck. I still couldn't do the same thing to her. She did you dirty as fuck. I couldn't. There were several times I could have made it to where she get to walk in on me fucking somebody else. Anything just so she could feel some of the pain I felt. But I couldn't do it. Because, because they're a good person. Yeah. 
But she did it to me, and she's fucking evil. Because if she wasn't evil, she wouldn't have done it. You don't do shit like that. There's something in you that just because you have the ability to steal from them doesn't mean you do it. How many of y'all had your boyfriend or your girlfriend leave their wallet or purse out? And you could go through it, but you don't. Shouldn't this be some motherfucker think about it? seen your debit card. I could do it. I can't live with myself if I do it. Fuck what you think. It starts with what I think. And I've never been any good. Yeah, now, bitch, I can tell you I've stole from them. I've done stuff to them. I can't do it. And I noticed over my life and I told y'all, probably one of the reasons I'll never be as successful as I could be because I don't have the ability to fuck people over. And I'm, I'm not saying it's a good thing or a bad thing. I'm just saying I don't have that ability. Even with Lord, I don't have the ability to fuck him over like he fucked me over on his show. Y'all not notice that? I couldn't. I don't think it's right. Even though he thought it was right to do it to me. Because somebody's watching this show. And there's somebody out there that can stand up and say, Tommy could get back at this dude like he got at him. Or maybe he could show more. The next time you start your show, maybe you'll remember that Tommy respected you even after you disrespected him. Which could make him respect somebody else who disrespects him. Which could cause people who are at odds to patch it up. Because the one thing we seem to not like in the black community, and somebody said it earlier, and I think it might yeah. be Alex Shee said it right there in the comments there. It seems like we don't want to see people get along. Nope. Right. And one thing that I think hurts what I would say it doesn't matter how a person treats me, that doesn't dictate how I'm going to treat them. The way you treat me um, doesn't affect my morals and values. Like one, one thing that I always say, and I taught my son this, I don't say I love you to. I only say I love you. So like if he says I love you, I say I love you. I don't say I love you too. And the reason I do that is because I don't love him in addition to him loving me. Even if he hated me, I would love him. So I don't love you too. I don't love you also. I don't love you as well. I love you regardless. Have you been smoking weed? Yeah, she's smoking on that pressure. <laughs> My eyes on that pressure. Uh, good work, uh, Papa's work. That good work. That pressure. Smoking pressure. Yeah, yeah. Rolling pressure. Just know that. <laughs> yeah, she has hell yeah. say nah. The only way we got that philosophical uh, back in, in the college dorms is when we was on shrooms yes. or we were smoking. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I wanted to say, because while, while this discussion was happening, I went and did a little bit of research. I'm actually a statistician by education. And so on a high estimate, there's roughly 1,500 black babies born every day in America. But there's 900 abortions every day for black babies. Dang. So think about how much we're killing our own population. They don't give a fuck. It's lady. It was a high number. It is a very high number. <laughs> like we're, but that's not detrimental. I mean, they don't give a care, Miss Lady. That's our population just gone. Like six. What is it? Like sixty percent? About. They don't care. And that's. I, I would say it's scary. I would say it's sad. Or I would say it's scary. <laughs> it's scary and sad at the same time. Yeah. It's, it's kind of shocking because they don't really publish that number. You have to go find, you know, how many black babies born in a year, how many uh, black abortions, you know, black women abortions. So you know, it's not even, up. It's not 
and the LGBTQ uh-uh. all the way after it because you know obviously Don't say um, different. people who do it illegally and whatnot. Men lie, women but not lie. You know, that's a Numbers pretty high don't. number even for what has been documented. Clean. I mean, you've got a hashtag that everybody who rocks with. And the hashtag Dad. is scam. To Dad. see scary and sad, it's scam. Dad. And there's a lot of things that we do as black people that are scary S- and sad. Dad. And whether that's coon talk for me to say as black people, no, am I, are we talking about all? No, we're not. Blue's not talking about all. Shaq is not talking about all. Smack. We're not talking about all. But what we are seeing is the number in which it is is way too fucking high. Yep. Can you agree on that? Definitely way too high. I wanted to see that. Did you say 900 a day? Did you say 900 a day? 900 black babies a day? The estimate is roughly 900 a day. Okay, uh, I, I got I got baby support in a day. A day. That, that, I mean, that makes, that makes sense for some period. Like, that yeah, man. Yeah, it was yeah, was six hundred and seventy. Which is so. rapping fuck. Yeah, I, got, I, I didn't know. Yeah, I had to go to uh, this USAFacts.org and tap the percent. That's pretty high. They I, don't I didn't even know that. Because they people don't. know that uh, black American numbers is all. So, her number is probably actually accurate. And, um, yeah. My, well, you know, I didn't yeah. say call, I'm calling that cat, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't call so somebody go like, research that shit. It's, it's I'm calling people that start calculating it when they don't just give it a flat out. Like you're uh, going to type in Google. No, no they're not going to give you another flat out. They're not going to give it a flat out. And that's what's scary. And John and Sean are right on that. They won't give you the accurate number because they don't want you to know what the accurate number is. Right. Yeah, I had to calculate it. Also, they benefit off of the other 300. You know, they take body parts, they do all sorts of little stuff like that. So so we got to understand, you know, what we're facing. You know, it's a black market that they got. And uh, that's why they use that label black. And they definitely uh, use that as a a concept of uh, a product. And um, that's that's always been the ideology. I just wanted to say that my great grandma uh came to Philadelphia from South Carolina. Yeah, we it is a part of that uh the lineage, all that shit they talk about. Like uh, all of us got that shit still deep in our fucking heads still. So that shit is still traumatizing when everybody is doing dumb stuff amongst this uh our ancestors. And um I wanna say that my uh great grandma died, you know, off of that uh that backyard abortion. That pressure. Oh. You know what I'm trying to say? She came to Philadelphia. Mm. So, so, so we got to understand, that I didn't think, I was, I was like, man, I was like, man, this woman, by woman choice, but then when I, you know, I made my mom tell me certain things, I'm like, whoa, 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 I didn't know what it's like, and we got our book and everything, you know what I mean, from census and all that, we got our book from, uh, from, um, from, uh, man, South Carolina, that's where it all really started at, you know, originally, but, you know, a lot of this stuff is documented still, though, about our people, and, um, that shit is really, uh, detrimental to us. Are those surgical abortions or uh, 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 medicine abortions? These were just, I, I don't know the, the um, for my estimate, I don't know if it included the ones that were medically necessary or not, because I got the 900, but the other guy, he got 600 something. So I'm not sure. Because there are very few, uh, I want y'all to understand that. Yeah. And even medical professionals will tell you, there are very few abortions performed in the United States that are medically necessary. Dang. I actually oh, saw a video <laughs> with a um, former abortionist named Dante Levitino, and he actually said that when it comes to medically necessary um, abortions, he has only had two situations where he had to end a pregnancy to save the woman's life. And he said the way he the way he ended that pregnancy was delivering that baby early. And it's oh, just and, and let me tell and let me make sure y'all know something else. Because I dated a woman who had a son. It was the girl I was dating when I first started doing this. She had a son, it was her only child. They found out she had cancer in her ovaries when she found out she was pregnant. You know what she told the doctor? When they told her it would be best that she terminate the pregnancy and immediately start chemo. You know what she told them? I'm going to die with this baby. And yep. she did. She said, fuck you. That's the last yep. act I did on earth was to deliver my son. That's what I'm going to do. 
Okay, girl. Sure, I'm just saying. Most women, and you can and look at how many men have been Dang. left with their children because the woman said, I would rather die having this baby than not have this baby. So when you ask that question, North, North, please understand, women who actually want true. that child, even if you tell them it is a risk for them to have it, they still want it. They'll whoop your ass if you try to tell them no. Because it's what they want. Yeah. And for some odd reason, that urge in a woman to be a mother is so strong, it's crazy. Because let me tell you something. The mortality rate of black women in America giving birth is really high. It's higher than any first world country. Yet guess what they still do? They still get pregnant, still have them. Yeah. That maternal instinct, as my girl Shelly said, is very strong. And you're going to have a hard time telling a woman, choose your life over this possible baby. Nine times out of ten, they'll choose their own. So when you ask that question about they need to have it done, the only people who have abortions, 99.9% of the time, just irresponsible people who want to have it. Unfeeling souls who want to have it. Because let me tell you what you don't see them do, North. You don't see these women walking around sad after they did it. You see these women care. You see these women acting like it never happened. That's why what Alex said was so important. How do you act like something never happened, which actually did happen? No matter how you, how many abortions you got, you were pregnant. That was a kid you killed. You can't walk away from that because we don't see the evidence of it. If you got STDs five times, yeah, you took the pills to get rid of it. Did you no longer have STDs? No, you did. You were burnt. You got the scars. Everything happened. You just kept it from people. That's it. You kept it from people. They don't know it happened. But you know it happened. As my girl Janet Jackson said, no matter what the world says, when you go look in that mirror, you can't hide from you. Why do you think most people don't like mirrors put in front of them? Sure can't. Can't hide from it, player. I don't have to beat you down. I don't have to make you feel any kind of way. That mirror will. Because that mirror is you. No matter what you lie to me about and lie on social media about, when you lay down in your bed every night, you know who the fuck you really are. Yep. And tell me, a huge question I have she is really be bop, why are black women, <laughs> because they are three times more likely to have an abortion than white women, so well, that's why I'm saying black women, but why are black women having so many unplanned and unwanted pregnancies? Um, like, you know, for me as a woman, it's really confusing. Like, all of my children are planned. I've never had an accident. They, like, I've never, you know, had an unwanted pregnancy. And I don't even use birth control. I simply monitor my like ovulation. So, I don't understand why these women aren't knowing how to protect themselves or if it's like a lack of education for sex ed or Here look at what we were talking about. They look at like what we were talking about earlier, y'all. You know? They want to do what they want to do. There you go, right there. I love like black all women. that. I know about it. If you can't all tell those pies. They want to have sex with they want to have sex can't with. Tell shit. You, if, 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 if you ain't rich, you know, it's a discourse on the internet right now as far as the whole Kiki Palmer thing with her husband. But the same people talk about, or, or they, how, they talk about how they don't agree with. And I don't, I mean, I'm, I'm not a part of this conversation, but how certain men of certain stature say, look, if I'm this man, if, if I'm this man of this stature and I have this amount of money and I work my ass off of this, I'm going to do what the hell I want to do. But these same people are defending Kiki Palmer. So it's just, it's just kind of weird. Yep. Yeah. That's a good point. They don't, they, they, they want to do what they want to do. And can't nobody tell them no matter if it's. You know, trying to tell them what's best for them or the community as a whole, they can do what they want to do. Uh, I know Kiki Palmer had a kid though, so can we see this coming from the other traditions? 
because uh we do come from a uh, uh from living under the conditions of um you know our White ancestors suburban. having to kill their uh newborns because White of suburban. you know they was going going to slavery living into that systematic uh, racial system. That's, that's, that's you yeah, he did come yeah, from there. Realize, no, I'm just saying I'm about to, now I'm about to move. But you know, never say nothing about get, Black uh, Wall Street. You know, now we're moving forward. They got so they live under this uh, mentality of slavery, though. you know, to where though they think their conditions are still, you know, you know, less uh These chicks fortunate for the black stay community or for the black people as a culture. You know, so um we're still living under this mental slavery condition. Crazy. So um that's that's that be another and now they're promoting Always like excuse. hey, come get these abortions because they probably seen what our women have done what they have came subjected to. Exactly. Now, now, now we're actually living in a time where we have been brainwashing condition to thinking that that's okay. You know what I mean? It's okay no. for our women. But now, like now I'm about to say, um, black doctors women. will always say, you know, when black people are born, even though they say, oh, well, we, we have disease, we have it, but our babies still, still come out with those the, crutches, the strongest bro. immune system, the strongest heartbeat, the strongest lungs, and it, and, it, and it puzzles the doctors and them. Why you it keep puzzles falling. Them. You know, so now they like, hold up, we need them parts because they the ones who are having a uh, problem with, uh, you know, uh, pregnancy, paternals, and all that type of stuff as, uh, you know, the other culture of people. So um, we definitely got to understand that, you know, why are we supposed to uh, gatekeep and um, value our gifts? And that's definitely, um, it's, our, it's our children, no, um, you know, and it's, 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 our, it's our women bodies, our women, it's, most definitely it's, it's because that's, that's, that's the only way we're going to be able to procreate for you know, everything uh, except for them motherfuckers like it. I would say I. Uh, they are children of Leela. That's a different conversation for y'all. Y'all ain't even ready. He right. That's one of the reasons why I like the music spit out. Because it discussed something that's rarely discussed. And they even discussed it in a humorous way and then went away from it and been able to 